Hey guys, it's us and today is an exciting day because we're about to do something we've always wanted to do for a very long time now which is to experience van life. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. Today's exciting because we are here to rent a camper van and experience van life for the very first time. The van we're renting is actually behind us already. We rented it through Karma Camper Vans here in Calgary, Alberta. So let's go pick it up and start our journey to Banff National Park, AKA the Canadian Rockies. Let's go. All right. So we got our stuff. There's Anne. You ready, babe? I'm so excited to move into our new house. <laughs> oh. All right. So this is home. Oh my gosh, it's so cozy. All right, let's put our stuff in. It's so spacious in here. I've actually never been in a van like this. Fortunately enough, Jan actually has experience with driving these type of vans because he used to do this for work. Yeah, yeah, I used to uh, deliver these vans before when I was younger. No, it's nothing new, of course. The only new thing is that it's we basically... We have a bed in the yeah, van. Yeah, basically, basically home on wheels. Yeah. yeah. So we are currently at Walmart. We're doing a quick grocery run before we head to the mountains. We actually decided that it would be a lot safer for one of us to stay behind and watch over our stuff because um, we have a lot of equipment in here. So John was actually the one that went into Walmart and I stayed behind. But I'm actually currently in the back of the van doing some work because I can. So I jumped in the back and I set up my little working station. I'm just doing um, some finishing touches on the vlog that you guys watched previously to this one. But I love how much space there is. We'll do a full tour later. Look at this. Look at that. So like I can just jump in the back whenever I want and do some work over here. I'm just currently waiting for Jan. I feel like he's gonna be a while. When he does his grocery shopping, he likes to take his time. But even though he takes his sweet time, he tends to forget some things. <laughs> Date. We finally made it to the Rocky Mountains. We actually stopped in the town of Canmore, which is right before Banff. Jan just quickly ran into Safeway, which is another grocery store because we actually forgot fire starter. It's actually snowing right now. It's uh, it's wet snow, so it's nothing too crazy, but apparently it's supposed to be snowing this weekend, which is gonna be so nice. Oh. Did you get the fire starter? No, I didn't. Oh. I forgot my card. <laughs> Hello. Uh, till Wednesday morning. Yeah. Four nights. Where are y'all visiting from? Uh, we're just from Edmonton, actually. Well, we live in the Philippines now, so we're back here for the holidays. So we decided to... So to come back to Yeah, country, yeah, yeah. The worst <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to us, it's beautiful because like we live in a tropical place now, no, so... I, I get that, but like, I'm Right, right. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Please enjoy and please stay Yeah, thank you. Have a good long weekend. 
Man, Canadians are just so nice, man. It's good to be home. All right, guys, so we are now inside Banff National Park, the Rocky Mountains. So to be able to enter, you have to pay $20 per day per vehicle. Since we're here for four nights, we paid 80 Canadian dollars. So we are now at our campground, our home base for the next four nights. You can see it's kind of snowing a little bit. It's definitely colder in the mountains. Obviously, you gotta grab our wood because we're gonna go make a big bonfire tonight. Right, babe? Alright guys, so we are now here at Tunnel Mountain Village 2. This campground is only 5 minutes away from the town of Banff. And this is the only campground that is open in the winter time if you want to camp in Banff. So there's actually quite a bit of people here because it is a long weekend. But here's our, here's our van. Anne's actually inside just cleaning up a little bit. And we got our bonfire which we'll definitely use later. Got a table right here. But yeah, we're surrounded by mountains actually. We'll show you tomorrow uh, our surroundings because it is getting quite dark now. It's currently 5.30 p.m. and in the winter time in Canada, it can get pretty dark at around 6 p.m. or earlier, depending the time of the year. All right, so we're trying to settle in. It's getting pretty cold. So we're trying to set up the heater because this camper van actually has a heater, which is really cool. 35, oh, you can just set up what temperature you want it. What temperature you want, babe? The hottest. <laughs> oh, it's turning on now. Look, so this is where the, the vent is, and this is where the hot air comes out. That is so cool. Do you, you can, feel it? Yeah, yeah, it's cool right now, but. It's gonna warm up. Yeah, it's gonna warm up. Speaking of settling in, uh, we're gonna put these window shades uh, for privacy. It covers up all the windows in here. So you got some privacy and of course when you wake up, it's not so bright. So these are magnetic. So it just sticks to the metal right here. Perfect fit. Yeah. Oh, I think it's upside down. <laughs> there there we go. go. Ooh, that's, yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Some privacy, see? Look at that, now no one can creep on you. It's so different from like camping in our SUV yeah, before in our car. because we don't know like how to cover the windows. We yeah. did try one time grabbing like cardboard from the dollar store and like cutting out the shape of the window. Yeah. Did not work out. Yeah. <laughs> if you didn't know, uh, Anne and I, we love camping and we usually camp in our car, in our SUV before. Yeah. Yeah, but now, you know, we moving on in life. <laughs> we got a camper van now. We can afford things. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put the door windows cover on too. Oh, by the way, look at this chair. So the passenger seat actually turns 360. So you can just chill, have some drinks, and talk to your partner. So that's Jan's bed right there. <laughs> My bed is over here. This is so sick though, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I do this. Ooh, Ooh blackout. Blackout blinds. Blackout Five star blinds. hotel. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, cozy babe. How's the first impression of van life? What do you do? Now what? <laughs> so we're just chilling right now. I'm actually about to go outside and start the fire. Yeah, we just want to chill tonight. We got here pretty late. Oh. Sorry, I dropped my croissant. Oh, croissant. <laughs> <laughs> He's still in Paris. Tell me you went to Europe without telling me you went to Europe. <laughs>
finished eating dinner and guys it started snowing like crazy and it's still snowing like crazy look at that insane there's our van our fire is still going too i can't wait for tomorrow good night guys and we'll catch up with you in the morning good night Alright guys, good morning. It is currently 7.30 a.m. It got down to negative 10 degrees Celsius last night, so it got pretty cold outside, but in here, since we have the heater, it was really, really warm. We're up now, well, Anne's still sleeping. She loves her sleep, so I'll probably get up, make breakfast, and show you guys around. started the fire and now I'm getting some drinking water. What's great here is there's potable water so there's drinking water for free. Just fill up what you have. Good morning guys, so it is now 9.30 a.m. Woke up kind of late, but... That's only because the bed was super comfy inside. Yeah, and it's so warm in there. What a beautiful day, the sun is shining. Yeah, I know, it's only around one degree Celsius right now, so it's not that cold actually. So what do you want babe, pork bacon or turkey bacon? Both. Both? Oh, come on, we're here for four nights. <laughs> Get some bacon and some eggs and rice because, you know, Filipinos, we eat rice for breakfast. <laughs> Alright, so cooking rice, eggs, and turkey bacon. I think our eggs are done though. Alright guys, got bacon. Before we explore today, obviously we need food. Oh, it feels so good beside the fire. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> My good. little chef. Yeah, I'm chefing it up in the wild. <laughs> All right guys, so as promised, we'll give you a quick tour of this camper van. So right here, this is our kitchen area, our sink. Up here, uh, storage for your cups and your plates. Right here is your sink. This is where you do your dishes, obviously. Unfortunately, since it is winter time, we are unable to use the actual sink because the water will freeze. So they give you a jug, which you can refill with water and that's what you use to wash your dishes. Over here, is the heater system and this is where you control your heater and it comes out right here and down here is our cooler this is where we keep our food over here is our bed so comfy and then up here is some more storage and more storage over here as well all right i'll also show you guys what the back looks like this up 
So we'll start it off down here, which is a huge space for storage. And then this is the water jug I was talking about where you can fill it with water and this is what you use to drink water and wash your dishes. And on this side, you have your camping chairs. So there's two over here and a shovel just in case you need it if you ever get stuck on the snow. That's basically what our camper van looks like. So yeah, if you guys are ever interested in renting one of these bad boys, make sure to check them out at Karma Camper Vans. We'll put all of their links in the description of this video. Highly, highly recommend. It's been such a cool experience so far. Done breakfast. and just getting ready over there. Now we are heading to Lake Minnewanka. It's a pretty popular lake here near the town of Banff. It's only around 10 minute drive away from this campground. So we'll go check it out. Last time we were there, I think it was around two years ago, but it was frozen. So we didn't really get to see it. Hopefully today it's not frozen yet because it is just the start of winter. So yeah, let's go see. Hopefully we get lucky. Let's go. At Lake Minnewanka, we got lucky that it's still not frozen. Yeah, we actually have been here in one of our previous vlogs. Mm -hmm. um, we were actually in the middle of the lake because it was frozen. Yeah. We were with our family. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. We've been to this lake quite a few times and it still never gets old. this place is basically our backyard it still does not get old decided to stop at another lake right beside Lake Minnewanka. This lake is called Two Jack Lake. We've actually never checked this lake out before, eh? Oh, it's slippery, but it is also really beautiful. So let's go check it out. Oh my gosh. This like pretty little window where you have like the trees on the side and the mountain and the lake in the middle. much as we would love to just hang out here it's getting kind of cold and it's getting kind of windy so we are gonna head to the town of Banff now to get some poutine so we are now here in the town of Banff very popular mountain town here in Canada or Alberta, Canada. We're about to get one of the most popular staple food of Canada, which is poutine. Well, Jan's getting it. I can't get it because I'm lactose and normally I'm okay with poutines, but for some reason, this specific poutine gave me a stomach ache the last time I had it. But it's like the best poutine. It was good. It was probably the ever. best poutine I've ever had. Yeah, so we're gonna go check it out. I'm just here to support Jan. <laughs> it's really expensive too though. Well, let's go. No, no way. Why you gotta do this to me? So unfortunately, <laughs> Bam Poutine is closed. Uh, we're heading to get some beaver tails now. I've actually never had beaver tails, but when you are here in Bam, beaver tails is a must try. I've been living here all my life and I've never had one. <laughs>
Huh? I wonder if this will hurt my stomach. <laughs> Look at that, it's huge. I know, it's actually huge. This was more than my beaver tail. How much this, is this? Like $9, this was six. Yeah. What kind of flavor did you get though? This was one of their most popular, I forgot. But I'm pretty sure it's Nutella spread right there. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah. Damn. Okay, let's go to our spot. Let's go to our home. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not really gonna stay in the town of Banff for too long because there's so many people here. And also we couldn't find parking. We ended up parking somewhere where we could only park for 15, 15 minutes. minutes. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's been more than 15 minutes. So. Yeah. ticket <laughs> <laughs> oh man it got pretty cold out there <sighs> it's a lot of people yeah i know that's why we don't want, really want to stick around we don't around. like people <laughs> we don't like people as you can see we like dogs <laughs> this is what i have look take a look at this damn we're gonna get poutine today huh oh my gosh there you go mm. there. and I our need... bubbly pineapple flavor Oh, I should probably explain what a poutine is if you don't know what it is. It's a staple food here in Canada. Fries with gravy and cheese curds. So Not like this. Not custards. Not custards. So cheese curds. <laughs> Look how this is like 12 inches. Look at that. Whoa. Take a bite, guys. You want some? Ooh. Mm -hmm. I haven't had this in a very long time. This is delicious. Since it's like deep fried, it's like crispy. There's a lot of people in there. I feel like every time we go to Bamtown, we always see a line up there. This is really good. So, two burners are on. We're gonna make some chicken curry. Chicken basically cooked. We'll put the, the mango curry now. Well, this mango curry. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we got our dinner. So we got mango curry with just white rice. Oh, it's kind of spicy. Oh, it is a little bit, yeah. Oh, it's warm, hearty, delicious. Whoa, it's like Whoa. mango, yeah. spicy mango. Yeah, it's good though, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't expect that, but it's really good. You need a bubbly. Mmm. -hmm. Lovely. Oh, by the way, when I was cooking, I literally saw a coyote, a wild animal that went to our campsite. That's kind of wild. Oops. And got her sparkling water once again. The obsession continues. <laughs> Blackberry flavor. It's actually really good too. Yes. It's like a grape soda. Yeah, that one's yummy. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because it really does help us out a lot. And as always, Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to follow us on social media for daily updates. And we'll see you guys in part two of Van Life. Peace!